Hello everybody, and what's going on, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we are going through, in my opinion, the top 5 upsets of the 2018 AFL season. Sorry there have been less consistent uploads over the last couple of days. One, my birthday was just a couple of days ago. Uh, another one, I've been battling a cold I've had since about Saturday morning after the footy. And three, uh, my internet and this computer have been a little bit slow lately, but it's picked up. Uh, just while I'm making halfway through making this video. Anyway, thanks to Wex Isaacs for the awesome video idea. I will be going to the AFL Grand Final this year. We were thinking, oh, should we go? Should we not? Uh, but we decided, let's go. Uh, let's experience a Grand Final. So there should be a Grand Final vlog and maybe a WWE Super Showdown vlog if you guys would like to see that. Also, leave some AFL video ideas in the comments down below if you could help me out with that and also let me know your top five list so we have two honorable mentions the first one is st kilda versus melbourne from round 15 at the mcg this year and the second one is brisbane versus hawthorne at the gabba at number five we have west coast versus essendon from round 14. The West Coast Eagles are into the 2018 Grand Final and they looked unbeatable at times at their new cauldron in Perth being Optus Stadium. They defeated sides such as Richmond, Geelong and GWS there throughout the year. But things did just not click for them in round 14 against the Bombers. Essendon came out of the gates hot, blitzing the Eagles in a breathtaking first quarter, going into the first break with a massive 37 point lead. That lead would prove to be in Mountable as they continued to dominate through the rest of the game, leaving the final scores at West Coast 6 16 52, very inaccurate, to Essendon 12 8 80. Despite West Coast being without their two, their two star forwards, Josh Kennedy and Jack Darling, this is still considered a great upset victory from the season. At number four, we have Essendon versus Adelaide from round one. Right now, this game would not seem like an upset at all, but all the way back in round 1 of 2018, it certainly was. The Adelaide Crows had just come off a fantastic season in 2017, falling just short, of the, uh, just short in the grand final. In fact, it looked as if Adelaide was set up to win this game, as at the 7th minute mark of the final quarter, they were in front by 20 points. But the Bombers kicked set 6 out of the final 7 goals to come back and take a 2 goal victory, on the first Friday of the year. This was a fantastic start to a disappointing first half of the season for the Bombers and was even more of, even more of an upset as they had lost their last four games against the Crows by an average of 76 points. At number three, we have the second out of the Hawthorne vs Brisbane games, this one being Hawthorne vs Brisbane from round 17. The Mighty Lions upset the Hawks twice this season, but I decided to give this one the edge over their win at the Gabba. Hawthorne have been known for their fantastic performances in Tasmania and had lost only one out of their last 26 games in Launceston, but the inspired Lions completely tore that reputation down, having a comfortable 33 point win in an excellent second half performance. Young guns Cam Rayner and Eric Hipwood booted three goals each, while experienced star Dane Beams led the way with 33 touches. While Tom Mitchell had over 40 touches and Jago and Mira kicked four goals for the Hawks, they didn't have too much help from their teammates other than Liam Shields, who played a good and respectable game of footy. This was the Lions' third win in a row, and their coach Chris Fagan was very proud of his boys, praising them for finding a way and noting that lately they've been able to go the distance, reassuring Lions fans of much success in years to come for this great young team. At number 2, we have Gold Coast vs Sydney from round 18. When thinking about upsets from the 2018 AFL season, this game most likely comes to mind. Swan supporters arrived at the SCG on July 21st, expecting a breezy win to continue their 2018 campaign, and everything was going to plan by quarter time, with the Swans taking a 40-11 to 11 lead into the first break. However, that is where the fun stopped for Sydney. In the second and third quarters, the Swans kicked a combined score of 6 points. No, not a goal, 6 behinds. 
While the Gold Coast Suns went into three-quarter time with an incredible 20-point lead, the Suns didn't stop, ending up with a 12-16-88 to 8-16-64 victory. Aaron Young starred for Gold Coast, kicking four goals, while young gun Will Brody had a career-high 27 touches to go along with his six tackles and five clearances for the game. And Rory Thompson may have played the best AFL game for a player who did not have a single kick. He had Buddy Franklin in his back pocket all afternoon, earning a lot of praise from recently appointed coach Stuart Dew. And finally, coming in at number one, Carlton vs Essendon, Round 8. Carlton won two games in 2018, and this was the first of them. John Walsfold's soldiers held the lead by the shortest of margins, a point at half-time. But due to a great third quarter from the Blues, led by Charlie Kerno, the Blues got out to a 10-point margin at three-quarter time. Essendon came out all guns blazing, kicking back-to-back -back goals and hitting the lead five minutes into the into the last quarter, but that was shot down by Sam Petrescu Seaton and Sam Kerridge. Arazio Fantasia fired, fired back with a goal at the 15th minute mark, giving the Bombers a great chance of victory, but Ed Kerno kicked the sealer in the 18th minute, which was the final goal of the game. Carlton were able to get over the line by 13 points at the MCG, the final scores being Carlton 14-7-91 to Essendon 10-18-78, meaning the Bombers were very inaccurate and could have won the game if they had just kicked straighter. Anyway, there we have my list of my top five biggest upsets of the 2018 season. Hopefully you all did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did. Tell me your top five biggest upsets of the season and why in the comments as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the future and have a good one. Thanks for watching.